button. I'm just gonna check my audio. I'm just gonna talk to make sure. I'm just gonna talk to make sure. Okie dokie. So I think what I'm going to do, jeez what the hell, <laughs> I'm going to go downtown and give Franklin a makeover because that's just what I do. Sorry. How fitting. Rhythm of the Night by Corona. Now, but for real though, this is a really good song. It's just the name is a tad bit unfortunate. Show us your tits. Hey. What the fuck? Yeah, what's crazy? We should get a drink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yo, girl. What's going on, my dude? Yeah, brother. Blazing tattoo. It's not How's it going? Hey, hey bro. I totally agree. That's a cool one. Morning is my full persistent time. That's a cool one. Where? Oh. <laughs> so glad you finally had a day off. Buff, you know, you're right. Hey, what's going on, brother? I like that one. But also. I do gang stuff too. If oh you need no, it. please. It's nice to not be at work for once. Uh, yeah, I know. Some award winning art in there. That's cool. I like this one. Specialize in neck tattoos. Real classy. <laughs> yeah, something unique out of a catalog. I like this one. I do oil on canvas, you know, besides cock piercings. How about a no, teardrop by the eye? I like Make you look the... hard. Where is it? LS Flames. I like your that one. Where you got that? Left Check on. out my work. People say I'm undiscovered. 
I really like that one. Come see us again. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> oh god. I'm giving all of the boys just I'm making them all what are they called? What's it called when someone gets a bunch of tattoos? That's a masterpiece. I'm good. Like I'm using one. this money for drugs. Oh. Later. Hey, bro. Thanks. You're a star. Yeah, yeah. I think Trevor's hey, tattoos are my favorite, though. Yeah, right. What next? Let's go to Ponce and Bees. Because it's the nicest clothes shop in Los Santos. <gasps> I like the song. Hey girl. Everyone, do you like my tats? I think they're pretty. Well. Sportswear. Whoa. Decent trousers. But uh, yeah, I don't think. We have that in multiple colors. <gasps> oh no. Not the whitewashed Franklin, please. Oh god. Oh. Damn. Now just just listen one sec. That looks peng. Franklin in pink. It's a pretty good man. Did you find your size? <gasps> okay. I'll come back to you, my love. I must look at the trousers first. Is this for trousers? Oh no, look at some shoes. Oh no, not the snakeskin. Ooh. Yeah, but no. <gasps> Franklin in a suit. Hee hee hee. He looks like a waiter. The green suit. Yeah, he checking himself out. Earrings. Those are selling like hotcakes. Yeah, surely. Cardigan, though. <gasps> yes. Pretty swag. Jackets, vests. Wait, is this what I was just looking at? Shirt. <gasps> yes. Yes. <laughs> the 
Those are so comfortable. <gasps> oh no, not the Lester fit. I like this red one. I really do like this cardigan over here though. It kind of makes him look like uh, a country club boy, but my goodness. I'm gonna go Enjoy for it. Your... I need to find trousers though. Sport? No, not sportswear. Sportswear. Trousers. Why is there no trousers? Shoes. Suit. Sportswear. Why is there no trousers? You're you're literally a a shop. You sell everything but trousers. Yeah, I don't think chinos is the way to go. Those are selling fast. This cardigan Bye. though. Enjoy your purchase. Looks smexy as hell. Okay, let's go to a um, kind of more low-end shop. Because they'll at least have trousers. Jesus. I wonder what would go with it. Maybe some work pants. Uh, fucking move. All of you move, move, move. Neither do I. So get the fuck out of my way. Oh, really? I think I'm obligated to be a good Samaritan if I. In better shoes. I don't want no snakeskin shoes. I'm gonna make my man look smart as hell. No. <laughs> no, not the sweatpants with the cardigan. Does not. It's not a drippy fit. <laughs> I don't usually dress like this. They make us wear the clothes. <gasps> okay, maybe. Maybe. It's pretty. Pretty nice. Shirts, hoodie, yeah, not really. Yeah, I I could go for a sports jersey, but you know, Trevor's already in a t-shirt. I don't. I wouldn't want to. All I've eaten today is romaine lettuce. Okay, good for you. Did I ask? Don't think so. <gasps> jeans, jeans, jeans. Jeans. Okay, uh, maybe, maybe not. It's not a very, oh, these ones though. It's not a very flattering fit on Franklin, if I'm being very honest. Again, why do you not have trousers? Like normal trousers. Hat. This is the latest collection, if you can believe it. Damn. Okay, maybe not. Damn. Jeans. Yeah, I don't. Th I don't think these jeans are very flattering. 
And the sweatpants do not go with this cardigan. Do we need to go to a third store? It feels like this shift is never going to end. Love, if you don't like your job, quit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just appeared in our car. Okay, third shop. Yay. I'll get a f I'll, I might get rid of the yass haircut, but it depends. I think I've already been to the hairdresser as Franklin, and fuck off. I hate when people just fucking turn like that. Like, I get I'm not obeying traffic laws, but at least fucking indicate and look behind you before you turn. And you'd see a white buffalo speeding behind you at like magnanimous speeds. What kind of trousers would go with this? Because I was thinking jeans, but they don't really go with it. We'll see what fits they have. Oh god damn it, not another one. That'll look great on you. The green fit. What kind of thing would go with this cardigan? Because I really do like it. It looks very nice. Because I would say something like this, I just wish the legs weren't as baggy. The green fit. You should try it on. Uh, where did where did I get? Make sure you come back. Okay, fourth clothing store. Did you come all day? Oh no, don't mention vegans. That vegan teacher will get mad. Oh no. I'm just gonna. If you know, if if the, if if it ends, then you know why. hell is that picture up in the top corner <laughs> I do not look like that I don't look like that what the frick he doesn't look like Bigfoot please <laughs> I'm crying what is that picture that is not real <sighs> Jesus Christ Are you fucking kidding me? I'm here if you need me. No. I just I wish the legs weren't as baggy and they were tucked in properly. And also these shoes are not really Take the right type of shoes. Like. No. Not nice. Wait, what were the ones near the bottom? We could get him some Oxfords. Pretty drippy. Yeah, he Take agrees. I kind of like the chocolate. 
they call me dark chocolate. <laughs> what do you think, Franklin? I think it's pretty drippy, but I think it's a little safer to go all black. With us. No, not the jeans, please. I don't know, guys. Why does the, the why does the trousers have to be so baggy? Aren't these meant to be like tailored or something? Bye. Enjoy your purchase. Bye, bitch. Don't believe so trousers. I never realised there, there was this many clothing shops. There's like three different types though. You've got the pomps and bees. You've got uh, the s suburban one. Then you got the bingo one or whatever. Oh fucking move! It was my fault, but yeah, sure, blame someone else. But it it was my fault. I just wasn't paying attention. Silly me. Is it going to be the same annoying girl? No. Hello, I know you don't we sell anything different. <gasps> I kind of do want this. Wait, what? These are different ones. Red shirt, do be drippy. Sweatpants. Yeah, no. Jeans. I'm sorry, Franklin. You're packing too much for it to look nice. I'm sorry, ma'am. Damn. Feel free to flag me down if you want something. It's a very flattering shirt on him, actually. There we go. But what trousers? Because now we need to have some smart ones. <gasps> These shirts are like so flattering on him. Is that just me that thinks that? He's got like a really um, nice figure, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I don't think shorts is the answer. We'll look over in the back on sale. where they have more jeans. Yeah, I don't think so. We might have to go back to Ponts and Bees and look at the... That's a the chinos good again. Price. I think maybe the um, our normal boots will go quite well. Give me a sec. This green one is pretty snazzy. That's not off white, that's white. 
Okay. This black one, I think, looks the best. Black looks good on anybody. But it looks even better on black people. Am I right? I think I'm right. It just... I don't know if that sounded wrong or anything. I just think black looks better on black people because it just flatters your skin tone. Binko, that's the name. Hey. Huh? What do you mean? Mm? Hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. Ooh, these shorts, though. The cargo shorts do be a pretty snazzy fit. Tank tops on Franklin are just chef's kiss. Also, these, like, those types of jumpers. Like, bruh. No. Uh, hello. Los Santo. Trousers. I need trousers. No. Why do none of the stores stock trousers? There's actually like so many types oh, of shirts yeah. but no trousers. For stuff. These shorts do be looking pretty fly though. The cargo shorts. Sand cargo shorts. I like the olive ones. You kind of need a bit of a contrast between the black. I do like these, but they look a bit weird. I like the look of the cargo shorts a bit better. Olive cargo sh Yeah, we'll go with them. Where's shoes? I need better shoes. Oh no, not the socks. The socks are dreadful. Ooh, pretty drippy Franklin. Okay, um... Goodbye. Lates! Lates! Oh my god, my car. <laughs> uh. Do different tattoo shops do different tattoos? Because I, ha I haven't really been bold enough to give my characters tattoos before. Uh, but as you saw, like last episode, Trevor's tattoos look fucking perfect. They make him look so cool. Why do you actually change your clothes? Like, is there any type of thing like there is in Red Dead 2 where there's like a wardrobe 
but you can just see the clothes that you actually own and you can see between them or do I have to go all the way back to Franklin's house? Because I think I want to put on his uh, round toe boots because they look nice but I don't know where to buy them like normally. I don't think Franklin's haircut is ye. So I'm not I'm not gonna listen to Lamar because his haircut is not ye. Oh my god, that post box. Okay. car. I actually like Franklin's car. Franklin's. Franklin. No! Fuck. This car. This makes me feel like I'm playing GTA Online. very nice car. That was a good find. Oh shit. I always forget there's a downstairs, <laughs> like you can get to the downstairs from here. These ones go okay. Yeah. Smart shoes. No. Okay. So we have made Franklin look very drippy. Uh, some people will say he does not look drippy. Oh shit, it's glass. Some people will say he does not look drippy, but I think he looks drippy as hell. And this shirt is very flattering. So I'm going to switch over to Michael and we'll give Mikey boy a makeover. Is that a Christmas tree? Clappers. Oh my fucking god. I hate you, Jimmy. The Santa. 
That's not the name in your file, Michael. <laughs> Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. Hey, that poor some bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself, right now. Trevor Phillips is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse, off Dutch London and Banning. Great. Sounds just like my kind of party. This car is embarrassing. Why do I have to do this mission right now? Are you kidding? God fucking damn it. This is gonna be disgusting. I just, I just, I just know it. Trevor's switchovers are always disgusting. Oh, what did I fucking say? What the fuck, Trevor? No. Sweet Jesus. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> what do you think he's, he's doing? Ah, why do you care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh, I got abandonment issues. I see a shrink once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah. These well, tattoos you know, look so cool. Nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. See his face that last time I popped it. Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? Devin you, Weston. I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising. His tattoos look so cool. Man what the fuck? Get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine. So why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something. That guy gets more tail than uh, <laughs> than a tail catcher. <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you. Where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep this sleep dust of the way from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. You already anything. told nothing. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis. Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. You know? So, You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> oh, and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? them, I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What is I Hey! This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 I'm no, tired no. of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. All right. Fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time. Torture buddy. porn. You know, go for a drive. No, wait, wait. No, you get to work, and uh, I'm not here. It's Caesar's place, round the corner from your house. I don't know if this video is going to get taken down because I know. Like, loads of people were very yeah, shocked I by this boss, mission. I, like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical. As I was saying, before they rudely interrupted me, I know lots of people were, like, very shocked and uncomfortable about this mission. Um, uh, I, like, first played it when I was, like, quite young. And I didn't really... It didn't make me uncomfortable. But I did feel a little bit bad for the guy because obviously I don't think he was like guilty of anything. But yeah, um, I'm pretty sure this mission's like censored in Japan or something because um, 
it's torture porn. Uh, I don't really get affected by it that much. Like, obviously, it's not very good. But, um, you know, I don't really mind at the end of the day. But if you're not comfortable with watching it, just skip ahead like 20 minutes or something. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know that because uh, this is like apparently one of the most uncomfortable missions in G- uh, in GTA 5. I don't really think it is. I don't know what else would be the most uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this is literally torture porn. So if you don't like that type of stuff, then just skip ahead. Who Most people know that already, though. If you've, if you've heard of this game, you've probably For heard sure. of this mission. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth Fuck you. And he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working. Stop! Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? Watch it! There always has to be that one car that's driving across the moment you come past. The second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. This is bullshit. This place. Davey. They've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Right, just a warning. This is... It's about to be... The bi- the, that bit. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? I could go for a coffee right now. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Wait, what are you talking about, the wrong guy? No, who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Huh, please, look at me, please. You'll barely feel a thing. I will, I will. It's so heavy! Meek shot. I got bristle bones! I hope you're not a skier! <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tay here. Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. Uh, I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, the right end of the Western Highway. Oh. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. What a dick. <laughs> I got stuck in Burro Heights traffic for an hour and stuff yesterday, yeah. Wasted my day. I wanted to come and shoot those hey. fucking worker about doing, you know? So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. 
You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take him out. You entitled piece of shit! And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then the what? AI in this game the really fucking pisses me off. We don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than they needed. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want him to up. Know. No, please. The I'm gonna go with French again because I think it's like worse. the least gory. Uh, be, gentle. be gentle. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now you ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped six weeks That's ago. That's what we were afraid of. No, I mean, so, yeah, 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 talk. this guy we're after, what does he look like? Average build? Come on. Average height? Middle age? Yeah, yeah, it sounds like you're stalling, it's gonna be hair. enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever, he's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around, that enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. <laughs> What's one look like? They look Eastern. Well, half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit, I, 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 let me think, I... Oh, Sorry, too God. late, Trevor! Show our contestant what he's won today! I remember, okay. I remember! Woo! It ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What?! Oh, yeah, no, Steve is no. the biggest tool in the room. Nutcracker! <laughs> So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 please, no, 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 you know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informant and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. We're back in. Give me some eyes. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. <laughs> Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters, we need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. He's a, he's got beer. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, Jim. maybe one more time, just to be sure. Oh, please, no. Huh? I told you, he, he smokes. That's all I know. Where you want it? Nowhere. <laughs> I got brittle bone. Me shot. Breaker. Yeah, I just feel like I should choose the wrench because it's like the least violent well, one, I guess. That's what when you put the body through the ringer. Rise and shine! What happened?
<laughs> Mr. K. Uh, I, 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 Mr. K. Oh, it's okay. He, he chain smokes. He, he's left handed. What's that? He, he chain smokes and he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes. Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. <laughs> ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. About well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe. Could be. Used to be. Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball uh, game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Come on. Oh, just torture me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on. Up the fucking stairs. <coughs> Sorry, my sneezes are annoying. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch. Okay, let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. <laughs> How you feeling? I need to get to the hospital. I love the song. Ah, you're fine. I can assure you I am not. No one likes a crybaby. You look great. Let me see the mirror. I think I need a hospital. You're not going to a hospital. You need to leave. Who are you? And why are you helping me? I told you. I don't like being told what to do. Then why are you working with FIB? I'm a double agent. Yeah? Now who you work for? IAA? The IAA want you dead as well. Don't you remember? The Marshal? Global pool? Who? Global pool? Who? Global poo? Did you say global poo? I work for the forces of sanity. <laughs> sanity? And we need you to tell the world what happened to you from the safety of a foreign country, preferably a dictatorship. I've never heard that what line you before. Mean? You've got a message. You are a message, yeah? Okay, look, look, look. I love torture. Torture for the sake of torture? That's my bag. But there are people in our government, in the media, who think that torture is a means to an end. They think it'll get them somewhere. We gotta call bullshit on that. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. <laughs> me. Oh. Run. You're free. What? My family's here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. Right, now I'm gonna go back to what I was bloody doing. Jeez, it's forced me into a mission. Later, Dave. A whole lot later, I hope.
are the memories of this tattoo shop. Wonder what tattoos Michael has on offer. No! Trevor has weird ones. Franklin has all stuff about fam because you know he grew up in the hood. I wonder what Michael has. Move everybody. I love this tattoo shop. It just gives me some really good memories. Maybe a naked lady really? tattoo today? Oh my. That's a yes. Okay. Whiskey. <laughs> Flaming shamrock. I kinda like that. And I really like this. That is cool. Even though I never see it. Check out my work. People say I'm undiscovered. Pretty cool. Hope you're paying cash. Faith. Mermaid. Nice. Mandy ill. Don't like That's Amanda. No. You will regret it. Michael, please. Familia Aeternum. Okay, some Latin. I've done all these a hundred times. I'm good at it. Nice. I do gang stuff too, if you need it. I'm gonna give them all. Yeah, something unique out of a catalog. Yeah. You know, you're not much of a bleeder. Can't go wrong with that. I cover up crappy tattoos, too. Lady M. Huh? I want to see lucky Celtic dogs. No, please. Dragon. that well. I went to art no. school. Real clean work. Yes, maybe. Oh, family is forever, that's what he says. It's just his. Thanks! I need the cash. Okay. See ya, dude. Really? What the fuck? Get in the car quick, Michael. I hate this weather. Big sad. Okay, we must go to a clothing shop. I think we should fit Michael with the best. Because Michael looks the best in smart clothes. Because, like, he actually has tailored suits and stuff. Oh! This car is pitiful, though. Like, uh, Fuck you, Jimmy. Give me back my car. Whoa! Too close! Michael in a t-shirt though. Can't say I ever expected that to look good. You won't find those anywhere else. Okay. Red sweater.
<laughs> so I was just checking something on Reddit quick. <gasps> I love the song. Take your time. Yes. The Oxfords. The chocolate Oxfords though. Those look pretty damn snazzy. Damn. Does Michael have earrings? Does he? Can he get an earring? No. If you can't find your size, we'll order it. Shirts. Damn. I can't though. Franklin's wearing a goddamn. Franklin's wearing a fucking black shirt. But, but, the shirts do look damn good. That is very bold. What was these again? T-shirt. No, I think, I think Michael does look best in smart wear. Like I kind of want to buy some chocolate Oxfords. They are pretty snazzy. I'm going to buy some black ones we too. Appreciate your business. Okay, off to another shop. Make sure you come back. Oh my god, this car. Ugh. Jesus. I hate how this game like forces you to wear certain outfits in missions. It annoys me. But at least the at least the tattoos and stuff stay on. That's the one good thing. Hello, I'm back. Why does someone always come in just when I'm about to take a break? Don't be a bitch. Thanks. Michael's actually got some pants. Damn, Franklin is jealous. I really don't want to be here today. Good for you. Did I ask? No. So shut the fuck up. Please. Hello. Hello. <gasps> These two though No, not the hoodies, please. I wouldn't wear most of this myself, I have to admit. Did I ask? No. 
black jacket do be pretty trippy. Sunglasses, you got. It's hard to stay motivated in this recession. No, please. No. No. It's illegal. I like the shirts. What was it? I want the black one or the green one. It was here. Brave choice. Shut the fuck up. I didn't ask for your input. Just shut up. <laughs> Damn, he do be drippy though. Chinos. Maybe. What have I done? A Hawaiian though. Okay, I might have to go back to Ponce and Beers. Because there were a few. Oh, it's a car park. Silly me. I will have to go back to Ponce and Beers. Because I like some of their cardigan thingies. Because if Franklin can't have a cardigan, then I'm gonna give Michael one. Move! T-shirt. Michael in a T-shirt. That's all I. That's all we I have, have to say. In <laughs> Primary school teacher vibes. I do like the shirt, but Franklin's got one that's just like this. I want to wear my ones that I bought with this. Yeah, chocolate Oxfords. They look very drippy. Oh that t-shirt though. Those are so comfortable. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. No thank you. No. Shut. <gasps> Okay, okay. Okay, but I want to see the t-shirt again, because the t-shirt looks pretty cool, man. It's not really my call, but I'm feeling it. He looks like way younger than he actually is. 
Maybe we should go for the ash one. It's a, li it's a little less bright, you know. That's from our exclusive line. Okay, see ya, bye. Thank you for the cloves. Okay, what have we got? Because now we're done. Well, maybe we should go to the hairdresser. Because I did see, like, a post on Reddit where Michael has the grown-out hair and the beard. And it looks pretty damn cool. But I, I like how he looks right now. But I just want to see how it looks. Come hey, y'all. Come in. No, illegal. No. He looks so different when he's clean shaven against damn though damn though nah I, I like Go I like the goatee <gasps> he looks so cool what the fuck I've made him look so cool some people might be screaming at me right now because wait ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. actually I don't actually have any missions for myself right now i'm gonna go to trevi boy show me where it says wear pants on the casino floor <laughs> oh my god trevi you went in there without pants didn't you You fucking shit! Just give me it, just give it, just shut the fuck up. Enjoy my day off. Get on that. Fucking insane. Insane. No way, Eli. I worked every day this week. Don't be giving me that shit. But you know she's just my baby mama. Come on, baby. You know I want to get real dirty with you. I know. I mean, he can pay my rent, my car, my cards, but like, yeah. this is meant to Put be on my nasty thing. Black mask with dad. I'm coming home. How am I meant to find my feet when he's scattering banknotes in my path? Hey, Uncle T, it's Jizzle. Bye, Jimmy D2. I was, like, and mo stuff. The, Bye. the motherfucking, motherfucking S. So glad you are back. My dad has been acting like a wacko biatch recently all angry and shizzle calm him the fuck down let's hang out sometime i smoke a lot of weed now and maybe you can take me drinking or something sorry i had a stroke whilst reading that <laughs> i'm not surprised that i had a stroke uh where did, which clothing shop did i actually get my stuff i think i got it from bingo where was the nearest what let's try here i think there's one here maybe so that i can put my stuff back on
<laughs> I'm sorry, T. I still can't get over that, how funny that line was in that mission. I've never even heard that before. For Fucking no. Okay, we, we have... Oh shit, I killed her. Oops. We are at a bingo. I think this is the same... One that I got my stuff in in the first place. Who? No. Pants. We had some charcoal work pants. <laughs> Trevor in a tank top. No. Twas a. Uh... Oh no. Where was it? There's like lots of stuff everywhere. Really? I had the Zancudo and Give me my glasses back. Because I had those bitches too. Please no. Did I have glasses? Do not think I did. I swear I have aviators. Guess not. <laughs> Plates. Plates. Shut up, Dave. Don't have time for your bullshit. Yeah, shut up, Dave. Courthouse on Monday, then. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Ron Jakowski. Bitterly divorced. Oh, God. Jeez. You'll pay for what happened to Johnny, all of you. People are fools to post anything on here. It's all wired straight to the government. Want to grab a couple of cold ones and shoot some shit up? Oh, shit. Is Trevor ever going to pay us? Trevor made me put. What? Trevor, what the fuck did you do to him? Huh? Oh. Oh, friends. Wade. You have to get that psycho out of here, Deborah will kill me. First time in Los Santos. I love spring soda over people while listening to horror pop. Whoop whoop. You'd heard you heard from Daisy Bell or Kush Chronic, nobody's seen them since she went gathering last. Oh. What is that photo? Oh, it's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Oops. Jeez. Stalking Lugendor. Wait, what was... What was Wade's relationship? 
occupation nothing relationship oh big sad what is floyd oh come on floyd you boring ew look at deborah international ceo vice president okay okay what the fuck ronald that is not family friendly Fuck you. Now, Trevor, what do what would you like to? I love bees. There's kind of no point in even buying cars in this game because if they get destroyed then they get destroyed forever. You can't even like switch your main car. So there's literally no point. Okay, I'm gonna park in your driveway even though it isn't your driveway anymore. Hey guys, I'm here to help you with your endeavors. I say left, you say right. I say become a doctor. You say become a patient. I say who is that? Hello, Missy. Wow, Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise, Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass. Shut sister. the fuck up! Yeah, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Here, darling, why don't you go get yourself something nice, okay? Oh, thank you. <laughs> is, is it is seven dollars. I said something nice, not expensive. You want to be a greedy fucking cow, huh? No. Now get the fuck out of here, all right? You men are all the same. Man, what the fuck you doing here? Here with the boy. The boys. What? I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends, all right? Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. Man, I said I'm tired, dawg. The fucking thing. I love things. I'm the king of things. I ain't talking to you, homie. Hey, let's go do something about the thing, okay? What thing? I'm talking about the little stretch thing, man. Fucking beautiful. Perfect. It's a gangbang. Let's go. Come on. Come on, man. This, man, what is this man, just come on. Hello. Can I please have the Where's this thing happening? Down Grove Street. We shooting shit up. Spraying some motherfuckers, I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. Lamar, what's happening? What you and stress set up? We buying weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga, for real. Not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you and stress concerned. Man, this is an investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh! First rule of business. Hey, since we're out here banging, either you got some dust, 
fool want to get butt naked? <laughs> I'll get whatever it takes me, homeboy. Homie's crazy, man. <laughs> so I've heard. This the homie house right here. Hey, look, everybody be cool, man. Lamar about to do his thing, all right? They're not going to be very welcoming that there's a white fool in their neighborhood. Hey, on point, this fool janky. Courier service. Packets to collect. You got the grip? Present and accounted for. <laughs> you like that, huh? Sample? <laughs> Now we talking. <laughs> My throat getting numb already. So we good, nigga, right? Well, let's go. How about a taste? No, man, we leaving. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now you heard what your boy said, you're leaving. Hey, give me that, give me that back. Whoa, what the fuck? Did we ask for a key or a fucking ounce? Man, that's motherfucking drywall. Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here. Damn, you can't fucking hustle a hustler. Fuck ah. All you motherfuckers are dead. Wall Street locked down. We got the food. God damn. Damn, fuck up. We got water. Shot me the fuck out of here. Run, chop, run! Yeah, run, chop! They got 
Now, Sea Shark races all over the city. Helpful as always, homie. Let's split, my nigga, and keep our heads down. I'm going Frankie. Frankie, wait up. Shit, sorry. Go, 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 go. I can't fucking get the ladder. Go, 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 go. Damn, man. How we gonna do this? I got an idea. Stay close. Come on, Frank Flynn. Hey, kid. If you can keep up, stay with me. Hey, let's see how this spin's expert in everything, Duff the Cop. Alright? Dude, man, fuck! We gotta get out of here! We'll lose them, don't worry! Man, 5 all don't get the meaning of self-defense! Officer, it all started when they didn't have the kilo of cocaine we pre-ordered! Man, I guess that ain't gonna fly! The trouble kids get into! Lean out of this shit, Jet! I'm starting to get why Michael might have appealed as a mentor! You need help! <laughs> shit, I'll take whatever I can get! Oh, shit! You think we got time to go back for that drywall? Man, I think we ought to lose the heat first. All right, because that drywall looks, you know, high quality. I mean, we can make a fun night out of that brick. Man, fuck you. Shit, show me, man. How we gonna duck 5-0? I don't know, this car's pretty short. Man, you've been kind of reckless, homie. Dude, we gotta lose it. Really? Shooting. Shit, man. This ain't even your town. Well, fuck. Stop shooting. If you stop bloody shooting, Frank, then they wouldn't be able to find us. That chopper's gonna see me. people well hey this how it worked for you and Michael back in the day yeah mm, not quite no gangs in the Midwest or if there were they weren't cool ones hey you guys ever get con you know licks like that cuz it seems like every time we go out man dudes trying to get over on us that's the gang mentality bro you're relying on the criminal element being trustworthy that's pathetic yeah, thanks, dawg. So what's the option? You deal with civilians. Liquor stores, gas stations, armored cars, banks, cash depots, easy pots, when you stack them next to a street full of tooled-up homeboys. Man, it's always the way it plays out with LD, man. Bunch of g up fools wanting us dead and nothing to show for. Bar, man. Man, I love this dude, but... Damn, I need to roll with some pros, man. What's happening? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, buddy, buddy. Listen, Lamar, he's your friend, right? Has been for years. We'll show him some loyalty, okay? What, you think Michael's gonna be loyal to you? Ah, you can't buy that. You can't find it on the street. 
I was Michael's best friend, and he let me think he was dead for ten years. You're a cheap gun, who he's only just met. Uh, yeah, okay, man. E mm, okay, yeah, well, think about it. Hey, hey, man. This is cool just up here. So, Except this look, is man, I guess anymore. we know each other now, right? That yeah. we do, bro. I'll see ya. Trevor is a, the Trevor. Trevor is a is a what? Trevor is a what? Trevor is a good guy. He got family and got kid and he's so going. That, 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 that's it, right? Yes, Trevor. <laughs> but but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so. Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's gonna leave me. I mean, this is her place, and the fornicating. There's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa. Whoa. Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam, he died a noble death. <laughs> bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Well, show me. Show me, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. Mine ain't nothing special. <laughs> Wade, look at Wade in the background. The done, all right? Now, <laughs> Wade here says that you work in the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. Yes, I work at the docks. <laughs> and? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly, rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person, Floyd. I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there. Put <laughs> these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run. We got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it, team. And I really missed it. <laughs> Wait in the background, just staring. Wait. Come on. Use your last brain cell. There you go. Come 
on then, Floyd? What you got for me? Like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. Uh, you're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, we're looking for something. Something to steal. Sir, I stole a pencil in elementary school, and I've been regretting it ever since. Boy, I got always work of sticking a mug. Uh, look, sir, please, just tell me what you want, and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography or a perfect turd. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? $236 billion worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track on what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put price tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's been all these uh, Merryweather folks hanging around. Merryweather Security Consultant. Private army to the New World Order? My butt's gone The folks up. waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil? That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? I guess now... Are you under the influence? Yeah. I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter. Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no, uh, they won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague, Ralph... I don't give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. <laughs> Is there anything else? There's another bunch of Merryweather guys out by the Navy warehouse. They got boats coming in and out. I heard they was testing something. All right, we'll take a look at that as well. So I'm like stopping before the waypoints because I don't usually listen to all of these things. So I just want to make sure I'm like here Go and park everything. And get the dispatch. No, yep, well do. <laughs> Go park and get the dispatch. Oh, man, just about to start. oh fuck. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> here comes the suit. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong real quick. It don't matter what went in his mouth. It matters what came out. What? We got a waste spillage and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. So you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> Get in there. You gonna take me to see this freighter? Yeah, it's over here. You ever get helicopters coming in and out of here? You know, those big sky crane things that could pick up a whole container? Now, this is restricted airspace. They won't let anything out of here without clearance. Shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that stretched to 50 feet. Now, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they have the water surface real covered. Okay. Now that is the freighter I told you about. What do you think they got on it? We just stated on them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? <laughs> the government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. A couple of containers and baby gotta be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now. Up here, okay? How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers. They're gonna check your card. 
Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous. Relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just uh, Cousin Wade's on his own. Uh, he better hold it together. Stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boys on a waste clearance crew. It's those containers. They be. Okay, we got it. Let's take her down to Bay F. I know why they call them handlers. Because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. Now there's park folk all over this area. You drive too reckless. You have to someone's going Now I'll to get the other us. one for you. Me, anyway. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. Nah, nah, nah. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Cranes! Perfect! Oh, shoot! Please! Just don't! If my work here is done, I'm going up the gantry. time to admire the view. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. All right, I'm here. What do I do? You gotta line up the cabin over the container. The lights on the bottom of the spreader will help you position it. Looks like you're in line. It's hooked up, so lift it high enough to clear that container stack and move it to the other end. We need to go to the other end, bay five. Right down at the end. There's the truck, set it down gentle. Bring the container down over the truck's frame. Container's locked. All that freight. Signal man and crane driver working together. Now let's do the same thing again. Take us back up to the other end. Line up the second red container at the end.
Union thinks you'll get eye strain if you work any longer. Have a break. Wow. I mean, this is some view, ain't it? I'm gonna take a couple shots for my boy. Trevor, you want to see that warehouse? Come on! This rig ain't being used. It's over on the other dock. So they've been guarding one of them dry docks. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead-end job. What? Dead end? No. Floyd, it's dead end. Being a unionized longshoreman's one of the best paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. Uh, I've been doing this every day for 10 years, only usually with less of the criminality. You're wasting your life, Floyd. It's lucky we turned up when we did. I'm saving you from yourself. We ain't heard from Wade. What are you, his mother? He's fine. No, spill it shouldn't take this long to contain. There must be a lot of it. Good. Keep him busy while we get to work. Trevor, these photos, you've really stumbled onto something. The ship, Merriweather. Yeah, 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 I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it, 
and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. Way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Yeah, of course. I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's gotta be that. Now, get back to work. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. There's only one man responsible. Of course, yeah. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Merriweather at the same time. I, I got a file here somewhere. I'm tired of hearing the fucking word Kiflop. So do I, honey, but you have to deal with it. Where you're going. Name of all things holy. I, I, I tried to stop it, but it just kept coming and coming. <coughs> oh, it's a, there, there, Wade. Look, 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 it's a, Betty, you're just not cut out for honest work, all right? <coughs> you, did you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 yeah more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. All right, this will do. Huh? That woman ain't even fine. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. That's well, uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We gotta build him back up. Now! <laughs> and, there, perfect. All right, so. Based on my observations, I'd say these Merryweather security cocksnots are sitting on something <laughs> real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means, we have to blow up the ship, and grab the thing underwater. Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, Bring it back here and find out what it is. Here? To the Congo? Aye, so, what do you think? 
Container ship or whatever's offshore? Mm. It's gotta Save be the time. container, right? Yeah. You and Floyd can help, and we'll bring along Michael and his unpaid intern. You okay? All right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever going to smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right? And you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man. Smell him. No. Smell him. Trevor, Trevor, uh, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. You damaged Deborah. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide, huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bath! Why do you right in there? Like right in. Ah, Trevor. Hey. Mikey, hey, listen. Loving it here in LS. Really settling in. Getting my first enema tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I heard about some action. Yeah, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, you bet it's okay. <laughs> Listen, I gotta do a little prep work, but so far it's looking pretty tasty. I'll need you to bring along that kid you've been hanging with. Franklin. Wait, are you okay? I'm what? sorry. Sometimes it just goes up like that. It'll go down. What? Thank you, ain't it? What the hell? You're getting wet, Lloyd. Take your pants off. What the fuck? Why is Floyd in there with him? You my naughty bit, cousin. What the fuck? into my skin, ain't it? I thought you had a bath. Okay. Oh God. What the fuck?
why she got so many dildos? It's <laughs> actually three. What the hell? That's a cool night. Trevor. Oh no, not the syringe. Deborah is a bitch. Yeah, she is. What? What? Why is that there? So she's got four, huh? Okay. Mr. Raspberry Chow. Aren't you a trooper? Aren't ya? <laughs> Can I play with him again? <gasps> oh, now you have the filthiest mouth. You know that. You're getting wet, boys. Take your pants off. Clean. Yes, he does. I can't reach there. You're gonna have to scrub it. Oh, you'll keep our secret. <laughs> you my naughty bitch, cousin. <laughs> well, if you want to do that, we're going to need a safe word. <laughs> oh my god, it's pretty. I just want to see all the different dialogue. This is funny. Friends forever. Trevor. How could I say no to you, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, whoa! I am vanilla by your standards. Oh, there's a shootout going on outside. Mucky nose, naughty. <laughs> Mucky nose. <laughs> They bear you. Mm, go 
Chiku chiku. You are a naughty bear, Mr. Jam. Yeah, I wonder why. Aren't you a trooper? Aren't ya? Okay, is that all of them? <gasps> oh, now you have the filthiest mouth, you know that. That was all of them.
Can I get a cab out to me? Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. I'll be here. Where do you want to go? Little soul. Okay, buddy. There you go. Okay, you know Redwood cigarettes? Sure, the cigarette that built America. They've rigged a jury to throw a class action lawsuit that would cover the treatment costs of thousands of emphysema sufferers. And there are four corrupt jurors on Redwood's books. I'll send you the details. Oh, and we only have a few hours to make them disappear. The court case is tomorrow morning. Is that all, dog? Shit, that's quite a favor. And that's quite a house you're living in. Get this done quickly, and I'll try to throw in a sweetener as well. Now, I'd advise picking up some long-range hardware to get this job done. You'll be helping a lot of people with this, Franklin, including anyone who might have a sizable investment in, say, uh, debonair cigarettes. Well, shit. Hi. Shit. Damn it. Oh, shit. Debonair. Yeah, yeah. I will buy, like, 20. No, maybe. Nice call.
fucking kidding. Two down. Damn, I ain't got much time left. You fucking lunatic! This is a big misunderstanding. Okay, that ought to do it. Where's that gauntlet? Hey, L, it's done, homie. All of them. Very good. I'll be Where's in touch. Damn it.
love the song. No, I'm not helping you. Give me the car, dog. Oh my god. Oh. No what way. The fuck? Get off me. Get off me. You're right. Oh lord. Get off oh me, bro. God. I'm on the look for gauntlets. Because a little preparation goes a long way. That is not a gauntlet.
you get over here. Why should I? Can you give me a ride past them, please? I'm hardly wearing any makeup. No. Come on, quick. Fine. I'll get myself out of here. Hey. Hey, man. hey. Watch out. What's up? Too close. As soon as I start looking for them, none of them spawn. I know it's so hot.
Okay, well I can't find one. So that's a big sad. I think I'm gonna end it here for today um yeah um and I'm gonna get something to eat because I guess this would be like my lunch I know it's like one in the morning but um yeah I need to have <laughs> something else to eat because I literally woke up at like four in the afternoon well technically five it was like we passed um and then I had my dinner at like I don't know seven or something um so yeah but that was technically like my breakfast it was like the first thing I ate today um so now I need to go make myself some lunch I guess but um yeah um, and I'm kind of getting a bit bored of this, and I don't have any missions available right now anyway, so, um, yeah. I think, um, if I do come back on, I'm going to play Horizon, because, yeah, that's just what I feel like playing. If I do end up coming back on, but who knows, I, I might just feel like going on my phone but um I'm pretty sure I will when I come back on today uh well tonight technically because it's like one in the morning but um yeah if I do end up streaming again today then it will be Horizon and yeah I'll just mess around and do a few like side quests and stuff just whatever I feel like doing but for now um I need to save over this. And another time. Because. I have trust issues. <laughs> okay. So I saved. Um, but yeah. Uh, this was it for today's GTA episode. Uh, I had the fun. Uh, but yeah. I am getting a bit bored of it. So um, I'll take a break now. I'll get some food. Uh, I'll just get myself sorted out and then I might come back on and do some Horizon and I'll just do whatever I feel like doing in it because I've like all the collectibles and stuff so I'll just pick up a few other trophies and stuff that are like easily accessible right now to me but yeah so thank you for watching this episode of GTA and yeah I'll be back later probably and um, we'll and I'll play some Horizon. All right, thank you guys for watching. All right, see ya. Goodbye.